Though besides that, I think I've come up with another one of my brilliant ideas. I know it seems a bit strange, but, well, it might work. Oh, there she is. Hey, Agatha, what are you doing here? Congratulate me, dear. They gave me permission. Congratulations? Who gave you permission and what for? Didn't you hear the ectothermal machine beeping? The spirits of the Kilgore brothers, the primordial energy force in this graveyard, have authorized me to proceed with my research on their turf. Oh wow, how cool! So you need not fear anything any longer, dear. Just answer me honestly. Why is your tormented spirit still wandering through this world? Uh, because I'm not dead yet? Come on, are you sure? I'd bet my life on it, but there are other things I'm not so sure about. Oh, you have questions? Tell me, I'm your medium. Could you translate this manual for me? It's in Swedish. Hmm. Is Swedish a dead language? I don't think so. Then I can't help you, dear. Though, if you find the grave of a Swede here in the graveyard, I can ask him or her to translate it for you. See you around, Agatha. Goodbye, dear. Okay, let's see what it's about. Yikes, could it be any spookier? It's a list of names with the dates and places of birth and death and the location of the person's grave. Huh? If a person is in this directory, that means they're dead, doesn't it? However, Eureka, Ingerman Holgren, born in Norcothing, Sweden. His grave is in Sector D, Path 2, Isle... Here it is! But the truth is I don't know why I'm so incredibly happy. I mean, I just found a dead guy, and considering where I am, that's not exactly an amazing feat. What's up, Agatha? Nothing much, dear. I know where to find a Swede. I looked in that cemetery directory down in the chat. Very well done, dear. Ingerman Holgren. Here he is. Now, my dear, you just wait for me over there. But... I need some peace now to get my capacity for understanding to rise to the world of the spirits. Ingerman, I invoke you. Ingerman, come and show yourself. Oh, Monterinstruktione. Let's see what this book says. Instructions for. The assembly. Agatha, what you just did is absolutely amazing. Oh, my dear. You've no idea. Really, thanks to you, I have just what I needed. The fully translated flicting coffin assembly manual. What would you say if I told you that I had translated the coffin assembly manual? That if you're lying, I'll smack you upside the head. Oh, my sweet lordy. Wow. Yes. 
This'll be a cinch. Now, in five minutes, I can do this body box. Then I'll get gussied up and it's off to the bowling alley with Ernie. So, will you show the coffin to the Reverend and close up the workshop for me? Okay, fine. You run along. Don't worry. So, it turns out you're a real nice person after all. Move out, Ernie. I'll be seeing you later, hot duck. At last, I'm alone. Finally. Bit of everything here. Gardening tools, paint cans, do-it-yourself stuff. Oh, and a circular saw. It's heavy, but I'm sure I will be needing it. Hmm. Yeah, it's such a silly idea that it might even work. But I don't know what I could attach them together with. What am I saying? What about the ribbon from the funeral wreath? Come on, let's get down to work. That turned out even better than I expected. Let's see how well it holds. The ceiling really could do with a coat of paint. Although, when Reverend McCormick comes back, I know one parapsychologist who's going to have a lot of explaining to do. Poor old woman. Oh well. Huh. That pole must have fallen off after what happened with the angel. I'll put it back in place so I don't trip. Hmm. I'd rather keep it. Great idea. Bring it on, Gina. Brian, if you can hear me, stay away from the wall. Hi! Yeah! Brian! Brian? What? You don't know where he is? Who are you? The guy who sent you the text message. Banana! Wait a minute. You're Gabo, Brian's friend from the psychiatric hospital. What are you doing in here? Sleeping. I didn't intend to stay in the box. I got in before the burial. I was going to try to meet you afterwards. To find out where Basco is. But it turns out you don't know either. Improvise, Beagleman. Did you fall asleep inside the grave? Narcolepsy. Let's go. Where to? Out. To find the only guy who can help Basco. Weren't there some thugs by the exit? Hmm. I'll kill one guy. You take the other. How's that? <laughs> are you nuts? Okay. Let's try to sneak McQueen. I'll need a couple of cars. Ah, oh, there she is, the little cow. That wait was so boring, man. What the banana? Hurry up, get in. Okay, she got away. No, we'll find her. The little slapper's dead. I swear. 